2010, you had expectations, you had hopes, you had dreams, you, you had the belief that Hulk Hogan maybe wasn't coming into TNA to completely ass rape everything you loved about this company and take it to that next level where it might even be able to compete with the WWE. And you spent all of 2010 watching as Eric Bischoff and Hulk Hogan ass raped everything that was great about TNA and uh, made it almost impossible for TNA to ever be taken seriously as competition to anyone, let alone WWE. 2011, you didn't really have that. 2011, you pretty much knew going in you were fucked. 2011, you knew it was gonna be bad. Because where else was it gonna go? I mean, you you kind of thought once the whole immortal thing happened and Jeff Hardy turned heel for no good reason, and you had two really bad pay-per-views at the end of 2010 with Jeff Hardy versus Matt Morgan as you know your main event. Oh my god, you know. You thought you hit pretty much rock bottom. Like immortal was gonna be the worst of it. Well, <laughs> Sadly, it actually did manage to get worse, but you, you went into 2011 knowing it was going to be bad. You just didn't know how bad. So in that sense, I guess you can say 2011 wasn't that bad compared to like 2010. But, oh God. Um, <sighs> this fucking company, man. Oh, where to begin? Um, I guess you begin with the main event mafia. You begin with, they are coming to destroy Immortal and take TNA back. And they basically went out of their way to say it was the main event. They even brought back Scott Steiner to just hammer the point home. Yep, it's the main event mafia. Tune in February 4th, February 3rd. Tune in, it's gonna be the main event mafia. For those of you who don't know what the Main Event Mafia is, uh, the Main Event Mafia was a stable that was established at the end of 2008 in TNA, featuring Kurt Angle, Sting, Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner, and Booker T, uh, basically doing the same shit Immortal's been doing uh, all year, proclaiming that nobody in TNA can draw money and therefore you have to use all these ex-WWE guys to be the big stars and make all the big money and shit. And so you had the Main Event Mafia, they were going to bring the Main Event Mafia back to fight Immortal because, you know, nobody in TNA can do it. The, the week of the reveal, the week of the reveal, WWE debuts Kevin Nash and fucking, Bo fucking Booker T at the Royal Rumble. There goes your angle. It's over. It's done. TNA did not bother to sign Booker T to a contract before even announcing the angle. And they couldn't hold on to Kevin Nash. Apparently, they did have Nash under contract. But fucking TNA let Kevin Nash walk. So, you blow the big angle. It's not the main event mafia. It can't possibly mean the main event mafia. So TNA, instead of just admitting they fucked up, they put out a video. And, and they basically go with the excuse, oh, well, we never actually said it was going to be the main event mafia. Okay, Scott Steiner comes back. Crimson is dressed like a gangster. Kurt Angle is quoting The Godfather. They're saying it's the main event fucking mafia for a month. And then, you know, Booker T and Kevin Nash show up the Royal Rumble. Oh, well, you never actually said it was the name of that mafia. You don't know who it really is, smart marks. Fuck you. That's all it was. So they put out the fuck you video to the smart marks, because that's what TNA does. And then Impact airs, and it turns out fortune is there. And this leads a lot of people to believe, for some reason, Sting's not with TNA anymore. 